So it's time for another gay epiphany. So growing up, I, I think like a lot of people assume that sexuality was just black and white. You know, you're straight or you're gay. And if you're straight, you're either a typical heterosexual man or a typical heterosexual woman. And that with gay um, dynamics or, or gay relationships kind of mimics a straight relationship, right? There's one person who's more dominant and one person who's more submissive. And as I've gotten older, I've really come to understand that sexuality is actually way more somewhere in the middle. It's murky, it's, it's more like a gray area. And that has come from a result of meeting gay people, you know, as, as you start to make gay friends and you start to date, or even exposure to social media and, and porn, you realize that it's not actually so clear cut for everybody. But what's more fascinating to me is that over the past few years, I've really come to understand that even for straight people, sexuality is kind of more gray area than just black and white. So for example, last year I was hanging out with a friend who is a straight girl, and she was telling me about her relationship with her boyfriend, and she confessed to me that he has a thing for trans girls. So this was fascinating to me because I had never actually met somebody who who, who has this thing for trans girls. And it's interesting because I would say over the past five years maybe, I've definitely seen more of a public um, conversation around the, the sexual desire for trans girls, right? On apps like Grindr, just dating apps in general, I've seen more and more over the past few years guys saying like, I'm only looking for trans girls and so on. So to actually talk to somebody who's like connected to that experience, I, I, I had so many questions because I've never, I, I don't have any trans people in my life and I don't know anybody in my personal life who uh, at least openly is sexually attracted to, to that specific um, kind of person. So I honestly always assume that the interest in trans girls comes from kind of like a, f a fetish of you have a feminine person with feminine features, but they still have male genitalia. And so it's kind of like, you know, you get, I guess, best of both worlds. Or I also always wondered like, is it just guys who are secretly gay, but they can't come to terms with it. So it's easier to be with someone who is, you know, presented as a woman, but still has male parts. I never really knew how to make sense of it. So here I am talking to my friend, asking all these questions. And she was like, no, 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 no. My boyfriend likes a woman, likes femininity and, and feminine features, but here he has the added bonus of basically getting his prostate um, pleasured in the process, and he can do the same for his partner. So this was like, for me, because I just always assumed that any straight man is always going to want to be like the dominant one in, in any kind of dynamic with a partner, whether it's, you know, a woman who's biologically born female or a trans girl. So to think or to consider that even with, you know, quote unquote straight men, that they could also have this desire to be versatile, the way that we talk about versatility with, with gay men, that totally blew my mind. And then fast forward to about a month ago, I was watching YouTube videos of this YouTuber named Blair White, who I think I've mentioned before in a previous video. She is a, a trans girl um, and she's a Republican, so that's kind of like the juxtaposition of that, I think is, is what has made her like a really big YouTuber. And she has a boyfriend who has a thing for trans girls. And she hasn't, at least from the videos that I saw, she she never like explicitly said it, but she kind of hinted that he is similar to my friend's boyfriend in that he is attracted to women, but he likes that with a trans girl, he can be sort of a more traditional dominant man, uh, but also have the added bonus of like being submissive to a woman. This is so fascinating to me because it's so opposite of what I have always thought about like a heterosexual dynamic between a man and a woman. I think the beautiful thing is that as society becomes more progressive, people are more open to talk about these things and, and you realize that there's really such a spectrum to sexuality, not just when it comes to being straight versus being gay or being bisexual, but even within those specific, I guess, identities, you have such a variety of what people are into. And I think as people become more transparent, it'll just become easier for everybody because then you don't get into a situation where 
you don't actually know if you're compatible with somebody and you don't know, I feel like a lot of gay men in particular will adapt what they really like just to have a relationship or to, to have that connection with somebody. And the beautiful thing about talking about this stuff is that there's less shame around it and then people can really just pursue what they really, really want. And so hopefully we'll have fewer men on the down low, right? And, and fewer men afraid to admit that they have a thing for trans girls. And I think for me to have learned this as a gay person and for it to blow my mind, I can only imagine, you know, a traditional small town uh, straight person how how much this would change their thinking to realize that even straight people have these like quirks in their sexuality and that I guess as I'm getting older I'm realizing all this stuff that I was taught was traditional is really not even traditional. I really feel like being an adult, part of being an adult is about unlearning as you go along and realizing that so many of the things that you were taught are actually so false and they're rooted in this old school mentality that is so again black and white and really the truth tends to be a reality seems to be somewhere in the middle in the gray area so curious to see what you guys think of this as always